So, hopefully, um, is the input? Yes, it is. Awesome. So, we have, hello, once more, this is Cameron F89 back here at McDonald's. I apologize if everything just kind of got cut off near the end as I was approaching. Uh, it was on, everything was working up to a point. It seemed that uh, my laptop was recording as well. But I am back here at McDonald's. Uh, we just got back from the Habit Burger Grill. This is the kimchi burger. This is the Korean char burger that they have for sale that I got. And we are going to sample that today. I'm gonna go back to Twitch here and take a look at my chat window so let me at least set that up okay uh whoops i didn't have my wi-fi on so my apologies now I got the Wi-Fi on. Now I got to set it up. So Wi-Fi not connected. McDonald's sign in. As soon as I sign in, get to Twitch. We are connected. Awesome. And yes, as you can see over here, uh, TwitchCon and Totham Diner stream or YouTube video has gone up by two bucks. Yay, two bucks. And that's actually for me, <laughs> for me to myself. So yeah, I have at least $2 that I need in order to get to TwitchCon this year. Um, it's not going to be much. And I probably won't be able to uh, go, but at least I'm attempting to do something about it. And it's kind of a dream to do that. I'd like to meet people and other streamers, of course, yeah. So thank you all for joining me today for this. Oh yeah, I should get something to drink too. I was going to get something real quick here to enjoy uh, with the burger. So let me do that and I will return momentarily, okay? So, what are we going to do with this? I'm gonna look at it right now. Oh, I should have. Oh, I should have got some of the pepperoncini. I love that stuff to have with this thing. But anyway, first impressions are everything, especially where it comes to burgers. 
So let's see what we have here. And so far, it looks pretty good. It smells good too. Hmm. This is what it looks like so far. As you can see right in there, you can see the bits of cabbage in it. See that kimchi inside probably right there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Actually, it doesn't smell all that spicy. But this, one of the bits of cabbage. Good crunch to it. Nicely cooked. It is definitely grilled. Mm. Has that nice bite to it that I absolutely like where kimchi is concerned and let's see there is lettuce in here yes and there is cheese I'm gonna try to put this down here on my lap the cover you can see that burger right there. Right there, that burger. So I'm going to try to get a good chunk of that. Here, let me at least turn this down. This is interesting. Um, for a burger, it's not bad, but I do have concerns. One, it's too cheesy. Two, uh, the kimchi alone doesn't give it the kick that I had hoped it would. Three. Um, the buns used are thin enough, but uh, if it had a little bit of gochujang in it, it might have been a little bit better, especially for, uh, I know kimchi is more fermented and not really very spicy, but I mean, I can taste the cabbage, sure. But is it really, really that good? As I said, uh, if they added just maybe a little slathering or just a light slather of gochujang, that might have worked. But as it is, It just tastes like a regular burger. I don't know whether that comes across or not, but at least look at the bite that I made out of this thing. I mean, you can see it. Uh, the burger, the lettuce, the kimchi on it. For a nearly $10 burger, I'm a little saddened by this and disappointed. 
I wish it were I wish it was better and as I said it, I mean it, even if they had just a bit of gochujang on it that would be nice for that nice kick to it that I expected uh, the kimchi alone as you can see right there the kimchi right there it just seems rather well I don't want to say bland um, I don't want to say that it's um, less than what it could be even though it is but to be honest uh, maybe the second bite might work I don't know It seems disappointing. Yeah, to me, it's kind of disappointing. Does it really have that fusion of kimchi as well as the hamburger to it? Eh, it's okay. It's rather, and I hate saying this, but it's rather middling. I mean, it doesn't have that really good kimchi taste that I expected. I've had kimchi before. So maybe my palate is um, a bit too used to what really good kimchi is. But paired well with the cola, it's not bad. But is it worth the almost 10 bucks you have to pay in order to get it? Mm, no. I don't think so. They had nine dollars in tax. I'm yeah. Has something for lunch. If you want to try it out, sure. But of course, you have to realize this is nine dollars plus tax burger, almost ten bucks. In ingredients, uh, I can definitely tell that they are fresh, especially the lettuce and the kimchi and even the cheese. Uh, the cheese is kind of indeterminate. I think uh, they're using like a jack cheese maybe. Or perhaps even a Swiss. I would definitely have to look up the ingredients on what they're using and then probably come up with an addendum to this and reveal what it's what it's really composed of but there is tomato inside too I can tell even after looking underneath the bun uh, let me at least show you that you can see underneath the bun there's a tomato But is it going to live up to the hype? No. It's it's not living up to the hype. 
it's not a bad burger, but it's not a good burger overall. But I will give them points for a juicy burger that holds itself well together. The Habit does burgers very well. Their char burgers are good. Uh, char burgers with cheese on it are even better. Uh, although I do have a complaint about their cheese. Uh, since it's American cheese, I would rather see something like a Jack cheese or even a Swiss, perhaps. Even if they have, like, say, a Swiss mushroom burger. That would definitely work better than this. As I said, it's not bad, but it's not really good either. And it's middling at the most. If you're not thrown off by the price, try it for the experience. I mean, I'm sure it's not going to be like a regular thing. Hmm. Sorry, a bit of meat got stuck between my teeth. <laughs> but uh, anyway, at, at least you're getting an honest review from an honest guy who really loves food really loves food history and sometimes I will talk about uh, a food or a snacks history you know how they started out with you know like beef jerky for instance and I did one uh, about when it actually came to be and that was back in South America around 1400s well 14 to 1500s late 1400s 1500s early 15. But there have been all different kinds of fusions where jerkies are concerned. And also this fusion, it's not bad, but it, to me, it's just overpriced. And lately, uh, a lot of fast food places have been jacking up their prices. And McDonald's has been one to do that. But uh, a lot of these fast food places need to understand that a lot of people come in here for not just the convenience, but also for the cheap food. Uh, like me. Like I come here for basically the coffee. And I, I like the coffee alone because uh, it's, not, it's not bad. Uh, they source it well and enjoy it from time to time unfortunately i have to drink decaf now uh, i'd like to spend my life uh, showing people really good food evaluating it and this kimchi burger if you want to try it go ahead and try it i'm not going to stop you from it but you may come away being a little disappointed <laughs> and if they had something else 
along with it, along with the kimchi, a little bit of gochujang on it, as I said, it probably would have been better. Probably would have been better. Because I really do like, um, it's not just the sourness uh, of the kimchi alone and also the fermentedness, uh, but it's also the tang to it. It's not, to me, just tangy enough. Even if it had that, it had a little gochujang on it, uh, that might have, that might have been a saving grace. But that's about it, yeah. So, uh, yeah, I know that this is kind of a short uh, wild card Wednesday, and as I said, anything goes on it. I'm not in a gaming type of mood right now. Uh, I'm trying to relax. And the habit, of course, is one of the better burger places that I really like and would go to more uh, if I do have more discretionary funds. But I don't. So, uh, if you are interested in helping out, especially where this channel is concerned and also the uh, current goal of trying to go to TwitchCon, uh, I know I'm probably not going to be able to make it, but at least I'm attempting to do what I would like to show you all. I mean, that's all, that's all that I really, really want to do. Um, I just want to show you the places that I go to, or even the games that I enjoy, the foods that I love, and just share that experience with all of you. So I guess that's going to do it for at least this Wild Card Wednesday. I know it's uh, about an hour long, almost an hour long here, and I wish I could do more, but I really need to try to get myself going where trying to find a place to live is, is involved and trying to get more work to do. Thank you for at least joining me. I'm Cameron F89 here in Azusa, California at the local McDonald's just trying the Habits kimchi burger and you can go to uh, as I stated before uh, the Habit is located in uh, Citrus Crossing at 834 East Alasta Avenue and this is Cameron F89 here at the local McDonald's 980 East Alasta Avenue, just across from Azusa Pacific University, and reminding you, reminding every single one of you, please communicate, appreciate, and validate the loved ones in your lives, because we're on this planet for a very short time, and we need to help each other and not hurt each other, okay? Thank you all for joining me for this special IRL day or hour, whatever you like to call it. I will see you next stream on my Foodie Friday with a special product that I'm definitely going to review. Okay? Take care all. Really, really do appreciate you.